Human depth perception is a fascinating topic that recently receiving much attention. In this work, we derive a computational model for the perception of one of the strongest depth cues, binocular disparity. To derive this model, we run an experiment where subjects are asked for their perception of two disparity patches. Subjects had to press the left key or right key, depending where they perceive more depth. Each patch forms a sample in a space spanned by frequency and amplitude. The subject's answers are point samples of the disparity contrast sensitivity function. We fit an analytic expression to the obtained samples. This model maps disparity amplitude for a certain disparity frequency to perceptual thresholds. Accounting for the varying sensitivity to varying frequencies, we decompose disparity using a Laplacian pyramid. Our model can be used to quantify the spatially varying perceived differences between two stimuli. This example shows the original stereo image on the left, a JPEG compressed version of the disparity in the middle, and the difference in each band to the right. Here, the same sequence with a noise distortion. The original on the left, the noise distortion in the middle, and the spatially varying difference. The same sequence with quantization. Original left, distortion middle, difference to the right. Note how the quantization is only visible in some places. Due to the perceptual linearization, our model is useful for compression by removing unperceivable details. Here, the original image, 263 kilobytes. Removing all disparity below one just noticeable difference reduces the file size to 225 kilobytes. A compression by two just noticeable differences is hardly perceivable, but the file size was decreased by 40%. A compression by 10 just noticeable differences indeed is different, but the perceived differences are minimized. Here, the disparity maps for 1, 2, and 10 just noticeable differences. Compression proceeds by traversing all levels of the Laplacian pyramid and removing values below the threshold that varies with each level. Another application is rescaling of disparity. Here is an original sequence. Here is a linear rescaling in our space. Original, rescaled. Next we compare this original sequence, rescaled using common physical pixel disparity, to a rescaling in our perceptually uniform space. We find that perceptual uniform scaling better preserves visible disparity details, which is also reported by our metric. Here is a histogram equalization that fits the disparity of a scene into the perceived image. Original, equalized. One novel application of our model is hybrid stereo images. Consider these two stereo renderings of statues. This image conveys the stereo impression of object A from close by, and the one of object B from far away, here simulated by a zoom. To this end, the disparity of both stimuli is decomposed into high and low disparity frequencies using our model, and the high frequencies from A are combined with the low frequencies from B. Another novel application is backwards compatible stereo. Consider a stereo rendering of these dragons. Without anaglyph glasses, the image has strong color distortions. Using our model, we can create images that do not exhibit distortions when perceived without equipment, but convey a stereo impression when seen with equipment. Inspired by the corn sweet illusion in luminance, disparity is decomposed into bands and rescaled according to our model in such a way that the minimum required disparity remains. Thank you.